Trias, Multivac, and Veracity each have a red weekly candle halfway through the week when I predicted for very similar weekly consolidation reasoning that each would close this week green. I still think that. So what I want to show you and what is so important about this video, the reason why you should watch all the way to the end is that each of these three assets on the smaller time frames, each is doing something totally different in the way you play its game, play its game to have a more profitable crypto journey is different. So if you only like Veracity and you typically skip the Trias and the Multivac parts, well, guess what? What Multivac and Trias are doing on the smaller time frames is going to apply to your coin too. So what you might as well get the practice for all three so that the next time that your favorite one acts like the other two, you already know what to do. So stay tuned. Let's go get it. All right. So here we're looking at Trias on the weekly scale. And as all my videos, you know, very recently I've covered long weekly consolidation, a weekly closure finally above the next two should be green it's halfway through the week it looks like it might make me a liar however the reason i'm still confident in this prediction uh, for each of them is because i'm using bitcoin and ethereum as my primary alt altcoin indicators more primary than well maybe not more primary than price action itself <laughs> uh, in structure but more primary than its rsi than it's than it stokes on the altcoins and so i'm bullish on those two assets bitcoin and ethereum so i still think that this has a statistically likely chance to close green um, this weekly candle and we're going to dive in here really shortly but i just want to show you that each has a red week after some form of consolidation right and so veracity has a red week when i predicted it would have green weeks all the way until it touched this line that but maybe maybe one week week at red week after it touches this line but it hasn't touched either of those origin lines yet and so with ethereum and bitcoin as primary indicators i still think even though it looks like it's going to make me liar that it's still going to close green i still think it has a statistical probability of that and going to mtv here it is doing something slightly different it has fallen back into its consolidation point. And I thought that would only happen if Bitcoin and Ethereum fell. It hasn't. So I don't know if if this was some news being sold. So that could make my analysis incorrect if there was some, you know, news and now there's no news on the calendar. Like there's no news of future news. I don't however, I would still suspect that this is just a retest of something like the daily 21. It's a recheck of of the uh the price action down here and it will close green and it's going to close green above this the body of this uh weekly candle here is what i'm suspecting so what does that mean uh for multivac with the idea that bitcoin and ethereum stay strong this is probably a good this could be a good entry point. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving financial advice. We are very clearly talking about Pokemon cards at this point. So what we're going to do. So what we're going to do now is for each of these three, we're going to dive in. We're going to take this one weekly candle and we're going to dissect it for each. And what we're going to do here, here's the secret sauce. Each one is playing a different time frame. It's they're each playing a different time frame. So I want to show you what that means, because whatever asset that your favorite is with among these three, it will play that time frame sooner or later. So let's uh, stay all the way to the end of the video, because this could really make your crypto journey much more profitable. It's that time again to get flipped off if you don't flip your phone. Flip your phone vertically and hit like. So flip or get flipped off. And if you're new and you like what you see, hit subscribe in the bell. Here's why you should hit that bell. A lot of this stuff's time sensitive. So if you're looking to get a more profitable crypto journey, it's going to help me help you if you have that alert on with the basis that a lot of this is time sensitive. So let's jump back into the charts. Okay, so let's start off. I want to start off with Trias. I don't know why it's my gut is just saying start with Trias. Um, and that might be because I've already recorded a portion of this video and I was on Trias and I know um, that's just where I left off. <laughs> so we're, we're starting with Trias here. All right. So you can see here. So what I did with Trias uh, during the previous recording of this before I realized, oh, uh, I don't have this new computer set up correctly because I had a computer crash on me. Sorry. Um, is that uh, Trias is playing the eight hour chart very beautifully. The eight hour 21 during this move. Now, back here, was it? No, because this was a different formation. It was consolidating under this line, but it's it's current the way the current price action right now. This has been a great buy each time, and I could not find a better time frame. Honestly, if you don't have access to the eight hour chart on um, on TradingView because they use the free version, you could just use the daily. So the daily 10 EMA, that's pretty similar. Or what you could do, since this is the 21 EMA, you can use the four hour chart 
and just double it. So use the 42 EMA and it'll be the same line, right? And you can change the EMAs within here. Uh, when, when If you know how to set up a chart like mine, you can go in there and go kablam, uh, go to inputs and switch it to 42 and it should be the same line. You see that? All right. So you can just do that and it'd be the exact same line. And that's one little strategy to get around uh, using uh, the free version and kind of being limit the getting around the limitations that, that it gives you there. But anyway, so I'm using the eight hour 21, which is the same hour, same thing as the uh, four hour uh, 42 EMA. And you can jump that on there. And if you're new and you don't know how to set up a chart, and you're clicking around with money and crypto. Um, let, let me. If you are new and you're clicking around with your money buying crypto and you don't know how to set up a chart to a basic degree, I'm not saying you're a day trader. It doesn't matter. Even if you're a hodler clicking around, you need to know how to set up a chart. So you need to stop what you're doing and go to my actually, I will probably link right here. So you see this popping up right here. Click it. Leave this video. Come back to it. If you're new, you don't know how to set up chart. Go figure this crap out first because you really don't need to be clicking around. All right, let's jump back into it. OK, so um, Trias is using the eight hour 21 EMA. And, and so here's what I want to show you how to play this, right? It's not just buy it, you know, like, well, maybe you're not looking to buy anymore. You are holding it and you're trying to figure out, oh, is it going to tank before it goes back up? And if it does tank, well, I want to sell some now. So it's not just uh, for buy points. It's for like the, it's it's for judging the strength of it. When is the strength going to break down? Right. So um, here's what to look out for. Here's how to play this uh, asset right now. And what I'm saying here will apply to veracity at some day, maybe next bull run, maybe in a month. I I don't know. And it will apply uh, to, you know, uh, yeah, veracity multi back at some point, but they're each being played differently. So don't be scared with one eight hour candle closure or two four hour candle closures below the 42 EMA, which I told you I had to set up. Don't be scared about one eight hour closure below because the next one most likely will fly above. And and unlike this one that did fly back above, what I would anticipate happening before this breaks out if it does close one eight hour candle below is that the next candle will give you a scare down first and then it'll flip green and close back above this yellow line here um so just imagine this is yellow right um and and so it that would turn into essentially a green wick from here down it would be a green wick similar to this wick here right so so but here's the thing though i know you all are staring at charts a lot and playing the eight hour chart I mean, that's a long time if you're staring at charts all the time. So I've already told you all, especially Trias folks, this is going to be a nice move up. Get off the lower time frame. Stop looking at it every hour. You only need the eight hour chart right now. The eight hour chart will tell you if this is going to break down. But here's why I don't think it will. Um, outside of the idea that both Bitcoin and Ethereum, I believe, are in bullish posturings. I'm bullish on them. Those are primary indicators for any altcoin, right? For the most part, there are some exceptions like Shiba with retail coming or whatever. OK, outside of a few exceptions. However, you can see here that this consolidation is different than the previous two. Um, so pre, uh, different than this one and this one. Right. Many consolidations right now. Um, so you only have three groups of people that make price move. You have buyers. You have sellers and you have sideliners. So that's a kind of a crappy arrow, but it's going both ways. Right. Um, and so buyers were so, like very strong here. And now buyers, some of them have moved into being a sideliner. So you have fewer buyers, but the sell pressure, people are not converting to sellers. So these buyers are not immediately flipping to sellers in large part and sideliners waiting to see what to do. They're not converting into sellers either. So all that's happening here is these buyers that turn into sideliners. All right. And the sell, the buy pressure has weakened. Um, you can see that the sell pressure has not increased enough because it's making higher lows, but it hasn't broken out of that high there because these buyers that recently turned into sideliners, they're simply waiting. And what can you see in the chart how to play this um, to determine when those buyers will step back in, even if they're not looking at the same thing? This will simply show you is the eight hour 21 will get a squeeze play. It'll be an EMA horizontal squeeze play. So all you do is go to the eight hour chart, right? Or even the daily use the 10 EMA, something to that effect. And you're going to see the uh, the EMA keep getting closer and closer to that line. And it's going it's going to be like taking a wet soap bar, uh, hopefully you're not in jail and uh, and squeeze it harder, harder, harder. At one point, it'll pop out. Right. Or like shaking a Coke bottle. That's exactly what's about ready to happen. And um, so with Bitcoin and Ethereum as primary indicators, I really think that's uh, the by far the most probable play. Now, the second most probable is a little bit to the downside. It would be a retest. Um, let me get rid of the buyer sellers and sideliners type of stuff. But 
Um, the second most probable scenario is a scare down. So it's going to be whale games with Ethereum and Bitcoin trying to get longs out of their positions before then giving a short squeeze and really screwing the shorters. And it, honestly, that might happen on Bitcoin and Ethereum because that would be a good way to bait even more shorts before a move up, before you squeeze them and make a lot more money. Um, and you'll get the longs out of their positions and exchanges would be better off that way, right? Um, so it, it could happen. So this definitely, this is in play. And that level right there is right at, you know, right at 15 bucks, a wick below, you know, into the 1450, something like that. But it'll probably come down to this line if there is that whale game and it'll probably bounce pretty hard there. Maybe a wick below, uh, but not much below 15. So that's my second most probable scenario. If there's a whale game to uh, both bait shorts, get longs out of their position before then pumping price, that is what Trias would do, right? And honestly, that could happen quickly like within within a day so that'd only be a few eight hour candles and so you wouldn't really have time to see oh wait is the second one a wick or not because it's going to happen fast um so that is how i would play trias it is playing the eight hour chart i would use the eight hour chart if i'm a trias fan and i would stop looking at the chart so much all right <laughs> all right so hey again if you haven't uh taken time to hit like uh for me as i'm uh switching charts here go ahead and do that and we are going to flip to veracity okay so you can see here i'm still on that eight hour chart so when i move to veracity here it's not playing that line as well can you see the difference right so let's throw on all emas and let's just start with an hourly a lot of times it's the hourly 200 the hourly 200 has been a great play um, but it's been wicking. I mean, it based a little lower and this could be the right line. There might not be any one chart better. So, uh, would one EMA better than this? However, it could be slightly more perfect. And that eight hour chart for, for trias was actually money. It was money, money. Um, so honestly, you could just use the one hour 200 EMA and, and just let yourself know, Hey, if you get too many candle closures here and the next time the one hour stokes get all the way up, if price can't get up and stay up above it, then it's going to break down. Um, when, when the Stokes move all the way back down, right? So you, so the next time Stokes on the one hour get up, you want to see this well above it, but, but more specifically, you want to see support of this the next time the one hour Stokes go all the way down too. And if it goes below on that next time, the one hour, or let me uh, expand the one hour Stokes and get these scribbles off of here. Honestly, the one hour chart might be a good play on this, even though I don't suggest one hour charts. Um, but this honestly looks like consolidation for a blast off. This doesn't look too weak, uh, but it, it, you need to see the one hour strokes come up. Price get above the one hour 200 EMA. I'm still flipping everybody off. <laughs> How many people are you going to flip off? <laughs> All right, let's go back to this. Um, but anyway, so uh, you need to see it get above that line. But here's the even more important thing. Some, that that's often when it starts breaking down because you'll be able to see the Stokes come all the way back down. This is all within a day, roughly, right? Uh, maybe late, much later in the day. And you need to see a bounce of price off of that orange line. So honestly, that would be a pretty good way to play this. But let's see if it's playing a, a chart even better. That's not such a low time frame. Even though sometimes I do like the one hour chart for all coins, as long as you are using a higher, a higher EMA, that's not the freaking 10 EMA. All right, so I'm using the 200. So this is essentially kind of like using, you know, the day, you know, like like the daily 10 EMA. That's a higher time frame. So you're just seeing the chaos within a daily. Like imagine this is one day, roughly 24 candles. You're just seeing more chaos within it, but your indicator that you're using is still on the daily chart. It is not a low time frame thing, right? So you're you're essentially mixing strategies there. But um, so let's go to the four hour. Throw up everything on there. It's, The hell is it using honestly the 12 hour 21 looks good so instead of so if you don't if you're using the free version of trading view you just multiply 21 by three right okay so you would use the four hour 63 uh, ema here and uh so here's the so look look how perfectly it's been playing it Every time it touches it, it's a great opportunity. And the one time you had a candle close below, here's why I know it's playing this chart well and why this would be my go-to because the same, remember what happened? Remember what happened with uh, the previous, uh, what, what were we on? Try us. It closed below. The next one zoomed up. So what do you think is going to, but I said the next time what it could do, it could close one below. 
The second one wicks even farther down and then it closes above. And then the next one would be way bigger. That'd be a really bullish buyback. And so that's what, so don't be scared about one candle closure below. It's the second one. If it really starts, and if, and if it closes red, even if it closes way up here, like it wicks down, closes here, two closures below is bad. One is not because it often does this. All right. And you could, but if you do see this close below, you can just go reference Bitcoin Ethereum. If they look weak, okay, well, shit, like it, it might come down. So where would it come down? Um, you ask, well, that's a great question. Probably to a pretty damn similar point, uh, you know, structurally that I said, uh, Trias would, it'll probably be between this wick and that candle body back here. And it'll probably hit this box somewhere between 0.063 and 0.067. And so that would be the previous, uh, structure uh body structure of uh made from october 11th so the the candles from october 11th up to that wick are actually october 10th october 10th so if i move this box you can see that that wick so it's it would bounce here if bitcoin and ethereum break down and do one of those um uh to get if they try to get if the will algos and hedge fund algos want to get longs out before a short squeeze if if my interpretation of the charts is correct which I think it is, but it might not be. Um, if that plays out, then that, this, that's where this goes. So that's how you'd play this chart. I would play this chart with the four hour 63 EMA or with the 12 hour 21 EMA, it's playing it. And that's how I, but also remember in my uh, most recent video, I said, don't, I said, don't give me your crypto. Don't be getting scared out. Well, this is another way. So maybe you're not looking to buy anymore. Maybe you have all the veracity that you want. But it's also a way to play it to not get scared out of your position thinking it's going to go down a lot farther right so that's also the importance of watching all three of these right because it's going to apply to the coin you like even if you don't if you're not a veracity fan you're only here for trias okay so now we are going to jump into we're going to jump into multi back now all right so multi back on the weekly scale is doing something i really didn't expect and honestly it doesn't look bad. I mean, this might come all the way down to the weekly 10. Um, it, so if so, the low end target, if multi back is affected by um, by algos trying to get longs out of, of their positions before a move up, which easily could happen, I would say that's the second most likely scenario. Um, if that ends up happening. Then I would say MTV, it will wick down to its weekly 10 EMA. Not as, and, and honestly, that aligns with these three candle bodies. So it's almost probably exactly where it would go to. Um, and that level is 0 0.0182. All right. So that's if Bitcoin Ethereum make a quick move down first. All right. For those reasons, um, it, it, uh, that's thinking like a whale. I don't think that's the most likely. I think the most likely is that this week will turn green, flip green. And this could be so for people looking to, for a good entry on MTV, I think this is a good one. And, you know, if you're scared about a move down first, then and you let's say you have a hundred dollars and this is something I do in my, um, you know, my live chats on the community. So if so, I'm going to show you one strategy um, to get more crypto with other people's money. This is a buy strategy. So within the three strategies within trading, you have buying, selling and risk management. Right. So this is one buy strategy. OK, within the three elements. And it's crazy. Like, that's why I keep suggesting to people new to crypto like. You can't just come in and buy crypto. You're going to get screwed and you're going to give me a lot of your crypto if I'm trading the same crap you are. Um, but I try not to hold much of the assets that I cover here. But um, anyway, so um, I would say, you know, maybe like a 60 40 mix. Um, even though that doesn't look like 60 40, it's a backwards for whatever, a 60 40 mix. And what do I mean by that in terms of a buy strategy? Since we think it's more statistically likely this will close green and not hit here, but so that'd be your 60%. But it is still pretty likely, you know, fairly, you know, maybe not likely or probable, but it's got a good chance. So 40% of hitting this line. Well, if, if you're looking to buy more of this for a good entry, well, use 60% of whatever amount of money you have in mind to buy with a market buy now save 40%. So let's say you only wanted to pick up a hundred more dollars of trias, 100 US dollars, for example, we'll hit it with a, you know, for example, Pokemon cards only. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving financial advice, clearly talking about Pokemon cards that say MTV on it. In this buy strategy, you'd hit a market buy with 60% or $60 of that hundred. And then with your others put in limit buy, limit buys, not market buys right down here um, and wait. And if it never hits, cancel them and market buy with momentum up as it's going up. 
that that would be one specific uh, buy strategy um, using the probabilities of what we think will happen. Right. So and, and again, I typically don't give exact type of ideas like that on YouTube. But if that little snippet, you're rewarded for it for staying to the end of the video here. We're getting closer to the end uh, this long into it. Um, I might fit these in closer to the end. So I'm going to try to give a little bit more rewards to everybody who stays closer, but I'm not going to do it too crazy often because that's uh, that is reserved, that type of stuff that like it's the theory on exactly how to play stuff um, is typically reserved for my Patreon community. So if that is interesting to you, then go ahead and check out the links. Um, it's, it should be at the top of the description section of this video. So everybody hit like for me, but more importantly, new viewers, these two videos can drastically, I promise you, they can drastically change the level of profitability throughout your crypto journey. And you're going to see, I'm here to help you. And I'm here to help walk you through step by step, uh, to stay alert of what's happening with Bitcoin related to your altcoins. And before you go, if you're new, hit subscribe, hit the bell. It's going to help me help you. Let's go get it. Y'all just got timified.